guys, guess what? Cinco de Mayo is coming. You know this girl loves Cinco de Mayo. It's one of my favorite holidays because I love tacos. And it's a, it's a huge holiday in Texas. We're going to make some churros today so you can make them at home. I don't normally make them this way, but we're going to try it because you can make them in 30 minutes. And we'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll tell you what to do to make it work. Let's get started. First thing we have to do for churros is we're going to put a cup of water. Yes, this is the water from my spring that I love. A cup of water. Two and a half. We're going to be using the deep fryer here in a little while. I know it's sweet, okay? I don't know where my brain was. Okay, we're going to put two and a half tablespoons of sugar in here. How much was the ratio water to sugar? One cup of sugar. Water. Two and a half tablespoons of sugar. Half a teaspoon of salt. So what we're making, I don't know, I've had all day trying to figure out what this stupid dough is called and then my brain is just like totally, I don't know, one half teaspoon of salt. We have two tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm going to put this on the stove. We're going to bring it to a boil and once we bring it to a boil, we're going to remove it and we're going to stir the flour in until it forms a good lump. Meanwhile, our, our deep fryer is heating. You can cook these on the stove, but I have a deep fryer, so why, why tempt fate? Let's not start a fire today. Okay, let's see. It isn't that phenomenal looking. Well, yeah, but I'm, <laughs> show, I'm showing them the temperature that you're putting the oven on the stove on. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it on high, kind of medium high, because you don't want your sugar to burn. You do want it to come to a boil. I had plenty of time to get this act together, and I didn't. So I don't know why. It's one of those days. I've been a really busy. It's been a really busy three weeks for me, and so today I felt like a slug. The only reason I stirred it then is I wanted my sugar and my salt to be mixed in well with my water. I didn't want any granulars left on the bottom, and I didn't want it to burn on the bottom, because you know sugar can be funky even with water in it. So you want to be careful with that. We should be able to remember the name of it. Shoe? Shoe! That's it! Shoe. <laughs> I didn't even have to look it up, it just came to me. I like, remembered that. Yeah, it's shoe pastry that we're making right now for these churros. <laughs> we want this to come to a complete boil. Can you say so you can kind of see where some of it's boiling? Guys, shoe is about doing it right, okay? It will come out right if you do it right, but you have to do it the way you're supposed to. So you have to bring the water completely to a boil not just partially that's crazy how it's like crackling because it has the sugar yeah well it's the oil and salt oh and the oil the oil is crackling on this side of the side okay i would say that's a good boil so we're going to put remove this and bring it over here we're going to get a cup of flour these are old pickle jars that my grandmother used to have had and she always stored all her stuff in them and i inherited them and i love them and i cry every time i break one so we're going to mix our flour in here and you're going to mix and mix and mix and mix until it forms a nice ball. And so the water was sugar, oil, and water and salt, right? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. this is just flour. flour. Mm -hmm. It's important to mix it good. That's the most important part. So you can see, it's a nice little pastry. Take our accent decorator. First, I'm going to remove this stuff because we need to be able to get to the... Let me move this stuff off of here. Take our accent decorator. This is Pampered Chef, but it's a type of decorator you can buy anywhere. But Pampered Chef makes the best ones, I think, personal opinion, unless you get those fabulous chef ones that cost an arm and a leg. So you're going to put it in, your dough in. I, like, I don't like to put all my dough in at once, so I'll just put in part of it. Put a little cap on. I, let, I like to load from this direction. Press down. Take your lid off. Now you're going to cook these about 30 seconds at a time in here. Do you, wait. What? Do you, is the thing down? What do you mean? I was making sure the basket was down. Yeah. Because I couldn't tell. It's down. So you're going to cut. You're going to let them out. We're making small ones. Don't be too high above your oil. Otherwise, you'll splash yourself, guys. You want to cook them until they're golden. Careful not to get too many in there. They're going to stick yeah. to each other. Golden brown yet. Yeah, a little bit longer. I think I could have put more in there, but I'm not going to now. So you're going to cook them, you want to, and you can kind of bring them up and look at them, see if they're getting there, they need to do a little longer. You want to cook them long enough that they're golden brown. You do not want raw dough in the center. That would be gross. So while those are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and get a half a cup of sugar. This is a quarter cup. Put it in this bowl, and you're going to add a half cup of sugar, and then we're going to add to that half cup of sugar a teaspoon of cinnamon. And that's what we're going to toss our churros in after we cook them. Then we'll make some chocolate sauce at the end and dip them in. 
normally I would put the lid on it because, but because of what I'm doing, and the lid just helps keep the heat in. And you can do these in a skillet, so they'll be fine open. This is just less likely, oh, they're getting there. They're almost there. Okay, I think those are done. Okay, so you're gonna wanna let them dig up, get off as much grease as you can, and then throw them in your bowl. Oh yeah, those look perfect. Don't they? Yeah. Okay, let's make some more. So we're gonna make them all, and then we're gonna toss them. I love churros. We haven't tasted it yet, so let's not highly recommend it. <laughs> we'll, we'll recommend stuff at the end. I'm recommending it right now if we're making it. <laughs> so far, it's been really easy to make. Let's see what it, how it tasted. You can do these in a skillet. Just make sure you have, get your vegetable oil, 375. You need to, see this dough is so easy to handle. It doesn't even stick to you. These are also nice because you can make a lot of them for a crowd. You could keep them warm in your oven on warm mm -hmm. and serve them. But they, I'm sure they'd be good hot, even cold. Yeah. So you have to, you can't just make this dough and let it sit. You have to fry it immediately. Oh, good. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna get those done. Okay, let's check our churros. Nope, not quite done. And then you put your chips around it. Look good. Okay, we're gonna put those in there. We're gonna let them drain for a second. It just, it's just easier that way, guys. And then you can take your cinnamon and sugar. I think this is way too much cinnamon and sugar for my taste, so I'm not gonna put it all on. And it just smells delicious, doesn't it? And then mm -hmm. we're going to put them, we'll put them in a bowl. They smell delicious. Do you want to taste one without? Any, without the hot yeah, I'll try one. Well, as I was going to be our guinea pig. Ooh, hot, hot. <laughs> I think I had to let it wait, cool down oh, a little bit before I... It's <laughs> really good. Those are good. They're they good hot. Out, they turn out good? Mm-hmm. Guys, we don't need any tips to fix it. It's good. My picky child has some, has de 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 determined in them. <laughs> I'm the picky child? Okay. okay. Let's make our chocolate sauce. You're going to take one cup of chocolate chips. I'm using mini because I like mini better at base. They will melt faster. Okay, and then you need two tablespoons of heavy cream. We're making some chocolate sauce to go on some churros that we made earlier. Uh, so that's what we're doing now, is just making the chocolate sauce to finish off these recipes. A few tablespoons of milk, heavy cream. And then you just put it in the microwave. You're gonna do it 30 seconds at a time. You do not wanna cook your chocolate too long, because if you do, you will seize it. Or burn it. Or burn it, we don't wanna do that. So it only took like 30 seconds for this because of the mini ones. Yeah, we did make the churros and yeah, give us a follow guys. The Here we go guys, churro. And do you wanna, people would kinda want like a, a recipe list for each of the recipe, just like a ingredients. Okay, let's start quick. out as I taste them. Churro, one cup of water, two and a half tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, bring to a boil, remove from heat, add one cup of flour and stir until it is a ball. Then you use your some kind of a decorator to squeeze them out and cut them off. Cook them in oil. Toss them in cinnamon and sugar. Half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon. Chocolate sauce is going to be one cup of chocolate chips and two tablespoons of heavy cream. Oh my god. I told you it was good. These are delicious. Have a great day. Enjoy the <laughs> spring. And please, post your pictures of Cinco de Mayo underneath my post. Thank you guys. See you later.